pack your bags, we're going to Canada. He's here. He's here. Nate Bitt's here. Your host, me, Jess Mark, is here. Producer, comfortable producer, Ed, Ed, Ed for the Win is here. And we have our awesome fourth host, who's even more awesome than awesome can be. It's very true. Is that possible? very awesome. It's true. It's, it's Chris. 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 Yeah, we should do it like Chris. How about Chris. 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 Guys, welcome to episode seven, Slightly Ajar Treasure Chest. You guys can check us out on facebook.com slash satchvgm.com. Uh, <laughs> just satchvgm, or check us out at satchvgm.com. I say this because Facebook, we're super popular on <laughs> fa- Facebook. I mean, seriously, if you check out our Facebook, you're like, oh my God, these guys are amazing. I love their podcast. I just want them to like, I just want to take my shirt off and my panties. Oh, for... oh, hopefully you all talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want you to talk like that. I, I want you to call us at... SatchVGM.com. <laughs> we'll, we'll, put Mark's, yeah, we'll put Mark's number up there. Um, episode 7, guys, we're doing uh, best-selling games of all time, and this is actually a tribute episode to the release of Halo 4. Halo 4 is releasing tonight, and we are actually going to go and um, buy a copy and do a video of us playing the game, and it's going to be really fun. So look out for that video as well. We're going to upload all of that to our YouTube, Satch VGM. Um, it'll be on our website and on the Facebook as well. But before I get all rambling about the best selling games of all time, and you I, like to ramble, I love to <laughs> ramble. I think there's some. I think there's something else. I think something? there's some something that rhymes with muse, muse, muse. or booze. Is it old? Oh, is wait. it? It doesn't rhyme. Is it? Is it green? 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 I'm, nope. I'm Ed, lost. Ed for the win. What is it? It's time for the news. <laughs> it runs with stews. And here is the news. <laughs> My favorite segment. That never gets old. <laughs> There's a few release dates coming out this week. Of course, tomorrow on November 6th, we've got NASCAR the game inside the line. Oh, yeah. Uh, can turn left. <laughs> And we've got the Mass Effect trilogy coming out tomorrow. What? I didn't even know about Excellent. that. Excellent. I need it. Um, this is great for me because I, I tend to miss a lot of games. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mass Effect is definitely one of the bigger titles that I miss. So uh, I'm going to shut up, but I'm going to buy it. So. I love that they're doing this. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of sad that, like, to see how fast games are losing their value considering Mass mm-hmm. Effect came out at $60 less than a year ago. Yeah. And now to get all of them for that same $60. But I'm absolutely not complaining. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty I'm cool. Just, I mean, holiday season, I'm just going to play this. I'm going to come back like, hey, guys, my nose is bleeding from all this Mass Effect. I, uh, <laughs> Why is, what is it that you're doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Cocaine and Mass Effect at the same time. Simultaneously. It actually comes with some in the box. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. That's the special cocaine. edition. Yeah. I'll, I'll get that pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> get an opposite of cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. For $5? Oh, right. You're like, you walk in there. You sure? Do, do I get to go around the back wait, to this, this GameStop? This is or? cool. Oh, oh, it's only at the Best Buy. Oh, yeah. Uh, we know how they do. Yeah, they're shady. <laughs> they're shady. They the need all buy. the help they can get. Right <laughs> and oh, more release God. dates. Harvest Moon, a new beginning coming out on Nintendo DS. Cool. Comes with the free llama stuffed animal. Awesome. awesome. Does it really? It does. It cool. absolutely cool. does. I'll have some llama. <laughs> <laughs> like what? you eat llama or? I just, uh, just love that. Okay, nice. cool. Emperor's new shoes. <laughs> Emperor's new shoes. Emperor's yeah. new groove. Groove. Oh, groove. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> wrong. You, can, you can't have a new groove without I'm some wrong. new shoes. I'm, I'm, yeah, this is right. true. You're right. Wow. Another game coming out is Little Big Planet Karting. Which looks great. And, you know, it's always kind of weird to you know, see these karting and these Sonic karting. You know, it's like, well, you're not going to be Mario Kart. But actually, I mean, like, Little Big Planet. It, it looks great. It looks, it looks like good. it's definitely more than the obligatory mascots yeah. racing card game. I mean, with the track creation and all the stuff you can do with it. I mean, Little Big Planet is definitely going after a different market, of course, yeah. uh, this time. But it looks like I'm, I'm very excited. 
Um, so it's just kind of like Mod Nation Racer with the Big Planet. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. Can you make your you can make your own tracks? Everything kind of like the same theme of Little Big Planet. Yes. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it should be tight. And coming out next week, Black Ops Two. Yeah. November thirteenth. Woo for everyone. Woo for everyone. Did I forget anything? I think you forgot the most important one. Halo Four. Halo Four. Woo. 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 Halo 4. Midnight release tonight? Quattro. Yeah, Quattro. we are attending Halo. this midnight release. We go to midnight release, Halo Quattro. Oh, yeah. Do oh. anything wrong. Oh, I got yeah. you like a fish horn. <laughs> <laughs> um, huge. I'm excited. We're going to be up all night playing. I'm going to go buy some more monsters, and we're going. Yep. It's, it's actually happening. tough for me to sit still because I just want to be standing in line. It's happening. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely get videos and uh, pictures of the line of the um, GameStop we're going to be at. And, uh, yeah, Get our, our first impression video. Oh, yeah, excited. first impressions. That's going to be great. Great. It's going to be great. Yeah, hopefully we get that one and a couple more out. Look forward to those. Yeah, we yeah. actually got a new capture card, which we're going to be testing out tonight. Oh, what, what, do you remember what it's called? Elgato Game Capture. HD. Yeah, <laughs> we, did some, we did some hard I only Amazon trust Elgato. Yeah. We did <laughs> some hard... You, you guys should have seen the email collaboration. We had like 25 emails between like four, six, eight people. I like that. You like that counting? Four, yeah. six, eight. <laughs> four, six, eight That's people. Just a lot of numbers. Like, hey guys, what should we get? Oh, let's do. And we and it's amazing. But we got it. Concluded on that one. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely. We got more news, man. We're talking. <laughs> Big news. Of course, I think everyone knows about this by now. Disney buys Lucas Films for four billion dollars. If you didn't know this, this, now you know. And you better if you. I mean, for what? What? Wow! Now, now, what does this mean what for mean? for uh, Lucas Arts in general? Mickey Mouse and Star Wars. Uh, yeah, exactly. They're making or the seven, eight, and nine. Yeah. Star Tours is, is my favorite ride at Disney. Yeah, okay. it's yeah, amazing. it makes sense, you know. And and then uh, yeah. the video games. There, what's the new one coming out? Um, this is a good buy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good buy. I heard two million in cash. The rest in shares. Yeah. So he's set. No, I mean, he's like, I, so I, it's just I, what he had in his pocket. I, I, I listened to his interview and he was like, you know, this is the deal. This is the perfect deal I was looking for to retire off of. I'm like, $4 billion? You he are... actually <laughs> donated all of that to charity. Did he? Yes. What? Uh, well, what? Well, what about his ranch? What about Luca's ranch? He's I'm pretty already sure. Got money. I'm pretty sure he's already got enough money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's ask him. George. <laughs> we got George in a line. <laughs> we don't. We don't have George in a line, guys. <laughs> he's here next week. Um, but no, it's cool. I'm excited about the movies. I'm actually, you know, for I know a lot of old generation, uh, um, you know, just the original generation fans are like, oh, it's going to suck. I'm like, you know There's what? There's a lot of outcry. Honestly, sure. <laughs> you wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. It's going to be more game. Um, we're gonna we're just gonna see a lot more from Star Wars. It's a cool universe, honestly. You know, it's a great universe. I don't care. You know, I am gonna be weirded out when I'm like 60 and we got a remake of like um, t Star Wars Episode so Four 13. with like Justin Bieber. No, that's, oh, gonna freak, that's gonna no, freak please, me out. No. Please, <laughs> you know? I, I can't wait until they remake Future Town uh, <laughs> at the, uh, the 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 Disneyland, whatever the place is called. Yeah, oh, and, Tomorrowland. Yeah, Tomorrowland. Yeah, Tomorrowland. yeah. yeah. yeah and then and make it into Star Wars or something like that. You know? <laughs> Well, they already have a Star Wars little area where they do do, do a uh, live show. But that's not like a, it's training. not like an area in, in the you know in the place. You want to have a I want to go on yeah, a Star it's, Wars ride. It's that's tied not into the same one. Space Mountain and yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Mm -hmm. Other they, they space could totally just themes. change the themes of those. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna wreck it. I'm oh. gonna wreck it. Oh, I'm Speaking gonna... of wrecking it, I'm gonna. <laughs> Speaking of wrecking franchise, I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not saying I'm gonna wreck it for everything, okay? I want. I want next time you're through, you're in front of your boss and he asks you a question, <laughs> when are you gonna take care of those papers today? I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> like, oh, you know, what? you're with your girlfriend and she's like, oh baby, come get it. I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. That's that should be that should be the theme, okay, guys? Do this all month. I'm gonna wreck it. Who's wreck it? Yeah, I'm down. Cool. I'm down. Yeah. Um, well, we did watch Wreck It Ralph over the weekend. You know, it was together time. I mean, that release, which we're a fan of. Oh yeah. 3D was even. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was so 3D you can't even remember. Yeah. It was. You're right. I'm like, whoa. It, it was actually pretty well done 3D. I usually am not a fan for it, and I didn't know it was in 3D until I got there. Yeah. You bastards. Yeah. yeah. They and snuck it on us. It wasn't yeah. blatant for sure. It wasn't obnoxious. They're like, yeah. hey, no. here's four, four more dollars. Why is it so quick? Oh, I, I can't remember one yeah. point in the movie where something flew at the screen. I was like, whoa, 3D, which is good because I don't want to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to wear these glasses comfortably. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want to watch the movie. Yeah, uh, great movie. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal yeah, movie. Absolutely. Great movie. Go check it out. It was um, Ryu's best film by, by <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it'll, it'll, it's Street probably going to do, movie. It's gonna do good in the box office. Sadly, if it just had like a week, just release, I think, you know, weekend or date rather, but it'll still do great. 
this yeah. is going to do great. I was I was sad not to have enough Sonic in there. He really wasn't in there. He made like the quickest cameo ever. Oh, I was yeah. very disappointed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe they'll do a Wrecker Ralph too. I'm pretty sure they'll get enough money and um, you know, we'll get to get some more characters. Once if the if the movie does blow up and gets money, get more attention, we'll get better characters next time. Yeah, I, hope, I mean, maybe they will. I, I don't know what they would do the storyline yeah. about. I, sure they'll find something. I, they get made story story <laughs> Toy Story Four, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I hope they get like a, a downloadable game of Wreck-It Ralph. I totally they do. That yeah, you can download it on your phone right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I might do that. I'm going to be quiet yeah. for a minute. <laughs> Podcast is over. Downloading the game now. I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? I'm going to wreck it. Okay, that's dirty. That is dirty. Mm. Oh well, we already talked about Halo Four movie promo. We can't talk that out again, can we? We talked about the what? movie. Oh, we talked about, sure. talk about the game. We talked about the game a little bit. There's, I mean, that movie. The 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 was it. The um, the dawn, <laughs> the dawn, the dawn. <laughs> no, I'm no, gonna no, wreck no. it. The dawn. No. <laughs> what is it called? Forward. Forward. It's a. It's that thing called Forward Under Dawn. Yeah. If if you're on YouTube and you're searching any type of Xbox or Halo or gun, um, you're gonna see this in your top right hand corner. Um, machine to uh, produce this uh, film, and uh, I mean it looks great. The shot's great. Uh, I'm still on like halfway point of it, but you know I. I, these are, you know, these are like some. It's cool that we had a moment that we can actually get some of these produced movies from some of our like awesome heroes. We're like, they should always, oh, they should make a film about Final Fantasy VII. It'd be awesome. Well, guess what? We can make a film. You know what I mean? And actually, a, a great quality film, and it'll do great on YouTube. I think the things that like nine, like you know, eighteen million or something. It's got like some that. backing. You know, it it's comes with Halo, the the special edition, right? Yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely throwing it out there, and it's I'm I'm really impressed. Like you know, like whore. you were saying, <laughs> I'm a wreck. We, you know, we, <laughs> we were teased with the uh, the announcement of a Halo live action movie years ago, and it was just you know stalled in production, and you know now we actually get to watch one. It's you know available on YouTube. We don't have to go to the theaters. It it comes with Halo, which is phenomenal. Which is cool. Yeah. I, I watched a few episodes of it, and it's surprisingly well done. I yeah. was I was pretty impressed with it. Yeah, but it's, it's not life changingly awesome, but it's definitely yeah. something cool to enjoy while don't you're you, getting you, ramped up for the game. Don't you like watching things, and you're like, "This is a tr- I know this is going to be a train wreck," and you sit down with your like arms folded, like this sucks. I know it's going to suck, and it's mm. like, "Oh, this is pretty good. I'm going to wreck it." You, see, <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't accepted it yet. You're like, well, "Yes, it's good." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Uh, I'm excited for tonight. You know, um, I think it's going to be a huge release. We're going to have a lot of fun playing the game. I can't Back- wait. To the show. So this week, like I said, we're doing um, best selling games of all time. So we went across all systems, guys. We're talking about all the way back all to systems? the Nintendo. Not all. We didn't do. We didn't look up Atari. I mean, Jesus. But <laughs> um, majority of uh, consoles, even PC games, of kind of the best selling, and went through from the top five list of each one of those consoles and picked our favorites. And um, you know. There they are. I mean, we're, you know, obviously to compare to what's going to be a bigger sale, Halo 4, Black Ops 2, which we know the answer to that is going to be Black Ops yeah, 2. Sadly. Um, but, you know, we always have really cool hype on these best release games. And, like, whether it be a midnight release, like, I feel like 10, 15 years ago, the midnight release whole epicness wasn't nearly. I don't even think they did or not releases. I can't remember. It's a, it's a fairly new concept yeah. within the last, definitely within the last why? 10 years. Why? 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 Why not? Uh, I mean, I think it's there's a good incentive to go. You're you're being around other people that are into games. You know, it, it's it's definitely a cool place. Like Sean said uh, a couple episodes ago, you know, about how it's a place for him to go and just be around other people who could geek out on the same thing. What about the back end though? Like, why would I, me as a retailer want to do a midnight release? Um, I mean, like honestly, I got to pay my employees more. Um, you know, why can't I open up the next day and just blah blah? It's it's a lot of it's a demand thing. It's definitely you know you have the opportunity to to be open longer than you're normally open, and there's people that are very excited. Yeah, you know they're all there and they're willing. They're waving their sixty dollars at you, pounding on the door to get in to get this game yeah. right away. I'm sure it started out as a, a situation where a store is like, hey, we're going to be open at midnight. You could get the game at midnight instead of the, right when we open the door. And so yeah. everyone's like, oh, well, I'm going to pre-order it there because I could go there. And now everyone does it, so it's less of a commodity, but that's true. It's still a cool thing you could do and play it. Right when the game's out, right, kind of like McDonald's being like twenty four hours, and a lot of people are like, "Oh shit, we gotta do it." Got to get hours. my McDouble. Yeah, exactly. They're going to they're going to McDonald's at, at three in the morning. Get that McRib. McRib. The McRib's out again. <laughs> the McRib. People, I, I, people do that, man. People go to different towns just to go get it. Oh no, dude. It's my, not, oh not my god. I my dad used to. Well, I used to hear stories when he was like younger, and the, the burgers used to come out. He's like, "There's Hardee's." Used to grab my mom, and he used to drive like you know miles to go get the new burger. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's. 
Man, that's, that's they got the American public <laughs> on a string. Right. You know, I'm going to wreck it. We so. put more onions on it. Oh, my God. We put more onions in twisted guacamole and salt <laughs> to give you this special sauce that will never tell you what's in Pack it. Pack your bags. We're going to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I... I <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Um, let me let's get to the picks. So I'm I'm up first. Thank you, thank you. I want everybody to clap when you're listening. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> and uh, my pick was from uh, PlayStation One, if I can just call it. Can I call it the PlayStation? Yeah, PlayStation, PlayStation. The, oh, PSX. the PlayStation. PSX. Yeah, sure. Uh, Final Fantasy Seven. A huge RPG fan. Everyone I, knows. I grew them. up with um, Final Fantasy. For Super Nintendo, which is obviously uh, the very best one, you know, which is a six and whatnot, and um, four and or three and four and whatnot, and uh, this came out PlayStation. I was on it. I, I was on it. I definitely was a midnight release. I think I got it from like Toys R Us and Barrett. That's where I, that's where I remember like more than anything. I'm like, this black dude doesn't have an arm, <laughs> and he has a Gatling gun, and he keeps cursing with all these squiggly lines. I could relate. It was like he was like, no, you. <laughs> He was like, no, you exclamation point, um, ampersand. Yeah. <laughs> You're Bound just an sign. angry black man. I was like, this dude is mad, but awesome game. I'm pretty sure most of you already played it. If you haven't played it, the Final Fantasy series is uh, one of the largest RPG series, if not the largest RPG series out there. I even heard that in Japan, they have to pick which day, um, a good day to release this on, because if they do like a school day, like the kids are like not in school because they're yeah. out in line waiting for Final mm-hmm. Fantasy to come. Yep. Out. yep. Where did you, you hear know? that from? Me. Uh, probably. <laughs> one of you guys are cocky. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I'm you... gonna wreck it. Huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna just I'll tell you. I'm gonna say it all. I time. think we can all agree that you already have. <laughs> <laughs> it's David bringing me down. Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> um, yeah. Final Fantasy. Awesome pick. Great track. And you know, I hope to definitely you'll definitely hear more from this track from me down episodes lines. Absolutely. I'm Final Fantasy <laughs> always have great music. I love it. Yeah, Nobu Umas. <laughs> is that what you call him for short? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your buddy buddy man. Hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 Nobu Umas. Uh, 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 he's uh, Italian. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing making all that music over there, huh? <laughs> Come over here. Ah. So who's Italian? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. So who we got going next up here? I think, uh, why don't you? How do you feel? How are you feeling? What are you getting? I'm feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty good. What did you pick? I picked... It was this old system. You guys may have heard of it. Um, the Dreamcast. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, oh, yeah, the Dreamcast. It's you for said. a select uh, elite few who uh, decided to get this awesome system that just didn't get enough um, respect. Um, Agreed. I, I, that's a whole segment in general. Mm-hmm. But the game I chose was a familiar one, Sonic Adventure, uh, which had some of the best rock music out of any game besides like Mega Man. Uh, this is the opening right here. How many? So two. This was the top selling Dreamcast game. Yeah. Yes. Two, I'm, I'm waiting for the music to start so I can start talking about it. All right, I'll, I'll shut up. I'm gonna wreck it. What song is this? It's open your. <coughs> open your heart. Yeah. Rush. Here it is. Yeah. You, you you turn on the game and all of a sudden you got this music. I mean, you're going fast. You're running through the levels. Uh, I forget the first level what it was called, but you're you're being chased by a whale. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's the coolest game ever. Sonic's Why is just well instantly after more yeah. badass than he's ever been. I mean, this angry ass whale. He's like, don't be running through my Whales head. don't like hedgehogs. They're like, whoa, get back here! It's <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah. Is this one of the first 3D Sonic games? Um, yeah. I mean, like, Sonic, the only thing that was 3D no. before this was uh, 3D Blast from uh, 3D Sega Bla- Saturn. Yeah. And the Sega Saturn game. Didn't they have, like, 3D uh, pinball or something? They had yeah. Sonic Spinball, which oh, was spinball. still I, on the yeah, Genesis. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think it was necessarily. Like, there, I think this was definitely, technically the first 3D Yeah, game. I mean, this. Yeah. I mean, it's a Dreamcast. What, what else is out? 64 and the PlayStation, PlayStation at the time. Yeah. Yeah. The Dreamcast is the more powerful machine at the moment, but, like, you know, sadly enough, didn't have, like, I guess the title to back it up. But this title itself. This was the first 3D one, yeah. It was, yeah. It was great. I, great. I mean, this set up the next generation of Sonic games. All of Sonic games play like this now. 
you know? Yeah, they kind of changed. I mean, they definitely changed up a few of the other ones that just wasn't as good. But I think yeah. they got back on track a little bit. Um, they're starting to realize how badly they were down. Yeah. Uh, just, well, they started sales. actually trying to write stories for them. Yeah. I mean, if you're yeah. not focused on gameplay anymore. If you haven't picked up Sonic Generations, I mean, I'm pretty sure the, the, the DLC of it, or just download it. You download PlayStation, Xbox. Oh, Generations is great. Great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. Yeah. Great game. If you're like, if you, if you fell off of Sonic, Go pick this one up. I mean, dollar, I think it's a $20 dollar now. Go grab it. You'll enjoy yourself. I guarantee it. If not, come kick me in the nuts. And after I recover, I'm going to wreck you. I might. <laughs> Let's go over to uh, to Chris here. I want to hear Chris's stuff. I don't. I do. You don't? Well, just your host Ooh, or whatever. Yeah. Right. What do you got, Chris? Uh, oh, my okay. pick was Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Yes. Awesome. Game. Which, yeah. life-changing. It was phenomenal, especially the music. It was the first time for me. <laughs> my nine-year-old me. self agrees. <laughs> <laughs> you, picked, you picked it up. Game changer! <laughs> <laughs> Where my dad actually tricked me into getting me a Super Nintendo. Like, he got me a Super Nintendo and didn't tell me about it. And, you know, he's like, hey, can you go grab the laundry out of the trunk? I was like, fine, I guess. And I walked outside and popped the trunk and just sitting there, the only thing I could see was just this brand new inbox jungle themed artwork Super Nintendo complete with Donkey Kong Country. And I just nice. grabbed the box out of the trunk, ran into the house, didn't even worry about shutting the car door and played it for like four <laughs> days. Yeah, great. Being a kid is awesome. Yeah, I want to go back to that. Well, that was exciting. I'm going to listen to this episode and probably loop you saying that and cry. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Have you seen kids when they get things? They're the happiest they've ever been in their life. Oh, yeah. I can't ever be that happy again. I, I actually <laughs> never find actually, that. I happy. look at him so excited. I wait for him like to pass out from like a little heart attack or something. He's like, yeah! <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I hope this kid passes out. It'd be so <laughs> fucking funny. He doesn't though. Yeah, they're, these kids are like all super. They're running on sugar and sugar and McDonald's pop tarts. Twenty four hour McDonald's, man. I was at McDonald's at three a.m. playing Donkey Kong Country. I'm like seven years old. Yeah, deep, deep ass voice, seven right. year old. <laughs> <laughs> playing Donkey Kong. I was playing, I was playing Black Ops last night, man. Just boom, 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 everybody. You're four years old. <laughs> <laughs> um, great game. Yeah, awesome was revolutionary. Game. Um, it was. The graphics at the time were amazing. I, I never cared about Donkey Kong until this game. Like I didn't like him. Like, it was such a departure from what we all knew yeah. Donkey Kong to be. Like, you know, it was right. another another Nintendo character that wasn't Mario. And the guy, oh, Donkey Kong, we played in the arcades, it's nothing. And then it was this amazing open yeah. you know, adventure game that just. I think it took a lot of us by surprise. I definitely wasn't seeing it coming. Getting in seven. bananas, riding on railroad tracks, oh. uh, going on rhinos, and you know, they actually had fish. to install, uh, you know, because it was on uh, the. What is it? Like, cause, like, cartridge. Cause cartridge. Yeah, yeah, they're on cartridges, and uh, they actually had to install like an extra like graphics chip. Oh yeah, just, just to right. run it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like the extra memory, whatever, to make it run better. So you know what I didn't like about that game was the bees. What I did like about oh. it was the crocodiles. It made them all goofy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 hate, I thought crocodiles like the were crocodiles. ugliest, fearful animals ever. They were not saw them upright and they're walking. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, I'm just a big buff crocodile thing. <laughs> Gorillas versus With the crocodiles. tiniest legs ever. Tiniest legs. <laughs> That's what happens when you do steroids. <laughs> cool. Don't Drink your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to an Ed, I think you're you're the last one, man. Ed for the win. Yeah. Before, last but not the least. Last but not the least. It, it actually is the least. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> Chris uh, took my pick. I wanted to do Donkey Kong Country, oh, but we all wanted to do Donkey. It's all right. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I picked. <laughs> Gran Turismo for the PlayStation, the original Gran Turismo. The original Gran Turismo. Yeah. Huge game. If yeah. you, car games, I think people sleep on it. Okay, people sleep on the car as a, cars as a sport, period. NASCAR, the uh, last time I checked was the biggest, like, uh, grossing event damn near ever. Surprisingly. Like, what surprise yeah. was, like, what the heck? Like, when, I, when I learned it, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, like, I don't know any NASCAR fans, I, I don't but know. somehow. I meet yeah. some There's every once in a while, and they're huge fans. Yeah, I don't they, get it. Uh, but you played this when you were, like... Yeah, when, when what happened? Yeah, when give us a kid, story. How'd you, you know, get into this game? Well, I'm not usually into cars. Um, I'm not really into cars in general. But playing this game is awesome because the customization you could do with your cars is, like... There's a lot of incentive to win races and get more money to soup up your car. Yeah. And I just really enjoyed that aspect of it. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, when you really think about it, and as a male and wanting to ball hard <laughs> and wreck things, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure if we all had the cash, we'd be driving, like, these souped-up Ferraris with, like, you know, our names on it that could just fly off into outer space. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, absolutely. That's why, like, you meet people and they, you know, they love car games. And I'm like, I, I completely understand it. And, yeah. I like, I like car games, but I've gotten more into like the arcade style, like Need for Speed, and like most recently Blur. Oh, Blur's awesome. The game is like that went under the radar. Yeah, 
game was amazing. Yeah, amazing game. Yeah, amazing game. So Gran Turismo was the number one top seller on PlayStation, the original PlayStation. It, it killed. Yes. So fine, going back, Final Fantasy VII um, sold 10 million copies, mm -hmm. and Gran Turismo did a 10.85 uh, mil. Oh, so look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, huh. How much did Sonic do? Uh, Sonic did 2.5 mil. 2.5. Which is actually, actually more yeah. than the amount of Dreamcast that we ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, somebody just got a copy? Like, yeah! Now uh, they how, bought how it 20 times. Yeah. I put it in my PlayStation? How do I play this? But <laughs> yeah. uh, great games. Great games and cool. you know, good time reminiscing. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm kind of excited for our next part. What do we got going on? It's well, the... Uh, oh, you know what time it is? What time oh, is it? Wait, wait, Slash Battle! Slash Battle! Yu-Gi-Oh! Huh? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. All, All right! right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not in this one today. Oh. Because I lost bad. last time, but I know who is in the game. Well, you know what? You were We were at a handicap. We were both wasted. You talk, speak, <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't. I, I was wasted. No, I was. I was <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not a handicap. <laughs> okay, so uh, so it's Mark. Just Mark. Just, just Mark, Mark versus uh, you are versus a new challenger. New challenger. Chris. Yeah. Uh, I like Chris. It. All right. Chris. Um, I'm ready. All right. Yeah. All right. Since it's. Oh, let me give you a recap. Uh, if you're just joining us for, uh, on this episode, Satch Battle, um, test uh, best test of video game knowledge. So we pit. Pit our host and maybe sometimes guest hosts and sometimes random people who call in the show when that happens. Once we um, get a phone, their knowledge <laughs> versus ours um, for a particular genre of game or theme or even sound effects. So today, I don't know. We don't never know the um, topic. Only Ed for the win is the master. He's the game master. The game master. The game master. What is it, game master? Halo trivia. Of course. Yeah, of that's course. topical. I'm going to just do, since I'm not playing, I'm just going to do sound effects okay. which, for the rest of the battle. With your mouth? <laughs> yeah. No, this is just, Can you just <laughs> stare me in the eye the entire time? <laughs> I just want to distract Mark just, so he doesn't yeah. win. I have, to, I have to remain the rain, the raining. I have to wreck it. Okay? I'm going to wreck it! I'm going to do the sound effect every I time you say you. that word. Every answer is for wreck it. Forerunner. Satch battle! Okay. Question one. I'm so nervous. Question one. Who was the mastermind behind the Spartan program? Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I wasn't <laughs> expecting <in> this question. <laughs> oh my god. Scratch that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Um, I am a big fan of Halo. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I or love are it. You? It's great. You know what's really bad? You know how many answers went through and they were all wrong. I'm like, I'm like, Cortana, no. No, you retard. Don't say that. You embarrass yourself. So what's the answer? What is the answer? Dr. Hasley. Duh. Hasley. Duh. I would have got that if I was playing. <laughs> Nate bit. <laughs> of course you would have. <laughs> All right. Here's a simpler question. <laughs> <laughs> Which Halo is releasing tonight? Halo 4. It's a tie. Oh. You both get the point. Yay. That's arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're just your commentary. <laughs> I'm a negative man, so, so angry. All right. I'm bitter. You guys ready? Yes. Next question. Dr. Halesley. Halesley? Hals? Dr. Hosley. <laughs> Dr. H. Dr. H. Dr. H. <laughs> Damn it. Let me ask, ask the question. So Sorry. <laughs> Start over. Dr. Hosley encoded herself into... A, Computer program known as Cortana. Cortana. Mark. Jo ah, yes. Oh, Mark with the point. Yes, Mark with the point. For all the ladies, I'm a wreck it. Call wreck me tonight because I'm a wreck it. Press score. Two to one in favor of just Mark. Yay. Who needs one more point to win? I, I'm, I'm glad this, this goal is so simple. We're, we're going to three? Oh, we always went to always three. Always go to three. Okay. okay, I feel like the Halo 4 question shouldn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're just here for fun, okay? It's not about us. I, I vote to redact the first point. <laughs> it was a tie. No, nobody goes in. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. It was a tie. Um, we shouldn't negate that point. It's let's do one zero. Game master, what do you think? I'll allow it. I, that's how you, that's not like game master. Yeah, no, he, he is a game master. Game master. Game master. <laughs> I'll allow it. Game Qu master, what is your desire? <laughs> Next question. Sergeant Johnson. Meets his end with what weapon in hand? Plasma rifle. Battle rifle. 
Is that your final answer? Needler. What, uh, weapon in his hand or what kills him? Weapon in his hand. Uh, assault rifle. Neither of you are correct. Uh, it is a Spartan laser. Oh, of course it's a Spartan laser. Oh. This is embarrassing. It's, this is terrible. <laughs> Let's go to Final <laughs> Fantasy VII questions. <laughs> you guys know nothing about Halo. So good color. Okay. Here's a question. Which weapon, originally known as the worst in all shooters, has both made an appearance in and improved in every single Halo game? The Needler. The plasma rifle. Yeah. Oh. Chris with the there answer. Two okay. Two to one. Halo, what was it? Halo 2, we can dual will. One to one. Dual yes. will with yes. two Needlers. Best thing ever. People slept on that. Don't sleep on two needlers. You can't do it again. But if we, it wasn't go good back, close range. It wasn't. It didn't need to be. It was. O- it was only good mid range because that's because they're you move around too much when they're close. That's what it sounded like. It yeah. sounded like death. Like once you did, it was. It was. Amazing. It was just. I mean, it works close range. You just. It's so much harder because they're moving around so much. I missed that. I missed a brute shot as well. Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna lie to you. The the little shot, little shotguns. Yeah. Excited for those. Next question. Mm. What is Master Chief's first name. John. Scott. 115. Close enough. <laughs> what, what was it with the and fool? And Chris wins the game. No, he, he only has two. He only has two. two. Only two. two. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I win the game. <laughs> come, on, come on, gay master. <laughs> Someone's got to keep score. I'm looking I, up I, questions, it's, man. It's, it's, it's right. C-man. C-man. Two to one. <laughs> okay, two to In one now. In favor of Chris. Wait, uh, close well, enough. What was you... the actual answer? John, 117. Oh. That was two numbers. Oh. <laughs> Pretty close. Ugh. Question. His no. first name was John. His last name was One Seven. Uh, uh, I gotta become more powerful. Stone Cold. <sighs> I'm not just gonna John Three Sixteen. John Three Sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Rock tonight. <laughs> 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 I can't even. I can't do it. I can't do it. Next question. Okay. What is Bungie's unique Spartan characteristic in Halo Three? Halo Three. Skull. What? Ooh. If you were to play a Bungie employee online, what is there? Oh, it's a flaming skull. No. Flaming helmet. No. No. Are Wait. we talking about the emblem that you see, or are we talking about their actual helmet? <clears throat> the question just asks, what is Bungie's unique Spartan characteristic in Halo 3? <sighs> Jeez. I, I, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm honestly going to go for the... Uh, um, God, I feel like it's a Halo 3. Five. Symbol. It's their name. The name Four. Three. Do you have anything? Three. Uh, the two. No. One. And it was the flaming helmet. I Did I not say he that? Said that? Why didn't you? Well, you were that. like, no. I was just randomly it. guessing. No, yeah, I, that, that doesn't count because you were like just all right, well, shooting you know, I thought, all right, Regis. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is, <laughs> this is serious. You're serious. You, you didn't say what is the flaming helmet. <laughs> mm. Who is the flaming helmet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next one's a little easier. Great. <laughs> Even though I knew the answer to the I'm last getting, one instead I'm of that line. Ass, I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> next question. What are the four difficulties in Halo games? Uh, are, Novice, uh, legendary, heroic, and mm. normal. No, it's normal, normal, normal sh- heroic, legendary, easy? Mark, no! gets the <laughs> point. Yeah, there is no novice. Uh, what is this? Novice. You're I'm a wrecking. Dude, I'm going. I'm going to voice. If I class. lose this game, I'm leaving. <laughs> Dude, to first the, thing uh, we should both release. be leaving. We, I'm pretty yeah, sure we're... we had six questions already. <laughs> we're making the show go longer. Yeah. The show, show would have been is, over by now. Yeah, we should, we should have been this. literally like None a, of out, this of, is out of GameStop, like this freaking is, out. This is for the win, right? This for the win. This one is for the win. All right, game master. <laughs> that is so funny to me. No one thinks that's funny. No, no one knows. What you're is he saying gay? Is he saying gay? Yeah, like, Here's the question. So playing the game. Who developed Halo 4? Oh, uh, three, four, three, three Studios. Ah. Oh, Chris yes. wins the game. Oh. Can I get, a, can I get a sound guys. effect? Like the boom, boom, boom. Can I get the the Absolutely. Chris, well. um, let me indict you. To uh, the winning, the winning, the winnings. <laughs> what is winning. Cu- what's customary? You know, just like a hug or um. <laughs> <laughs> a transfer? You get a, the... No, you get a pat on the back. Yeah. Good, good job, bro. <laughs> it's all up to you now. <laughs> no, um, yeah, dude, awesome. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. You're the, the, the reigning. You're the, you're the champ. You're the, you're the champ. All um, right. 
And, oh, somebody's coming for you next time, dude. I'm pretty sure it's either going to be Nate Bit or or, or I'll, Sean. I'll Sean on show, somebody. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Hey, that was our show. Cool. That Congrats. was that, that was, was the, the show. Battle. That was the show. Halo and Four. Show. If you're if you're with it, get it. Uh, find us. I, I, you will post on our Facebook our uh, gamer tags, and I guarantee I'll beat you. Just Mark here was going to beat you. I'll play you Halo. Check us out again at facebookcom slash VGM. You can check us out at satchvgm.com as well. That's s a t c h v g m dot com. This is Just Mark signing out, baby. This is Nate Bay. And for the win. This is Chris. <laughs> Chris. Have a good week, guys.